What's up guys, my name is Brock, you're watching The Modest Man, and today we're talking about how to take your style from good to great. All right, before we get into it, I wanna thank my partners over at KKJ, Million Dollar Collar, and Air Taylor for supporting The Modest Man and sponsoring this video. Now, these are three brands that are dedicated to helping men look amazing, and in that way, uh, they're very much aligned with my mission. So big thanks again to these three brands for making this video possible. Okay, so I was watching Shark Tank the other day and I couldn't help but notice the impeccable style of my personal favorite shark, Damon John. Now, if you didn't know, Damon John is about 5'7", and he always looks really, really good. Uh, and, you know, yeah, he wears suits on the show, but uh, so does Mark Cuban, who he sits next to, and, you know, he always looks way better than Mark Cuban, in my opinion. So what is it? You know, what is he doing to look so much better than other men who like to wear suits. Well, he's nailing the details and he's avoiding mistakes. Uh, there are certain little details that can make or break your outfit. And if you get them wrong, they can ruin an otherwise pretty solid getup. But if you get them right, they can elevate your style to a whole new level. And the good news is that there are these little things you can do that uh, don't cost that much money. Sometimes they're free actually. Uh, and they're not that hard once you know about them. Uh, you don't even have to buy any new clothes. So we're gonna talk about two things in particular. The first one is the shirt tuck. Now, you wanna tuck your shirt in properly, okay? The goal here is to maintain a clean, neat tuck that stays put all day long. Now, I'm sure this has happened to you, it happens to me all the time, where you leave the house looking good, but then when you get to work or school, wherever you're going, you reach up to get something, your shirt comes untucked, and then you get the dreaded muffin top look. And this kills your style, no matter how good you looked when you got dressed in the morning. So if you've ever struggled to maintain a nice clean tuck all day long, I recommend you check out my video about three ways to keep your shirt tucked in. Um, but if you watch that video, you notice that even though I go over three methods, there's only one that's really foolproof, and that's using shirt tail garters, also known as shirt stays. Now these are stretchy elastic bands, kind of like suspenders, that connect the top of your socks to the bottom of your shirt tails. So they pull down on your shirt and up on your socks at the same time. Now you can also buy sockless shirt tail garters that don't connect to your socks, they just wrap around your leg. Now you're probably not gonna wear these every day, although you could, but it's good to have a pair on hand for special occasions. Now if you don't have a pair, I recommend checking out KKJ. There's a link below in the description. KKJ makes my personal favorite shirt tail garters. Now if you're the kind of guy who doesn't like wearing belts, maybe you don't like the way they look or they're uncomfortable, be sure to pick out a pair of suspenders from KKJ while you're on their website. Okay, and the second thing I wanna talk about is wearing the correct button-up shirt. Now, there are two kinds of button-up shirts. There are casual button-ups, okay, and these are characterized by a softer collar, softer cuffs, sometimes they have button-down collars, but not always, and they usually are shorter in overall length because they're meant to be worn untucked, and they have a uh, a straight hem or maybe a slightly curved hem. Now these shirts really aren't meant to be worn with a tie. Uh, it just kind of creates a weird like mismatched look that's just sort of off, okay? And oftentimes they're worn untucked. Now dress shirts on the other hand are longer in overall length, they have a curved hem, and they oftentimes have stiffer collars and stiffer cuffs uh, because they have an inner lining in there and they're meant to be worn tucked in uh, with a jacket and oftentimes with a tie, but not always. So the first thing is just avoid wearing a casual button-up shirt like a dress shirt. So don't wear a casual button-up shirt with a tie and a jacket. Now, on the other hand, it is okay to wear a dress shirt without a tie. Now, if you just think about the quintessential business casual look, it's pants like trousers or chinos, a button-up shirt tucked in, and a jacket with no tie. Now this can be a great look, it can also be a very sloppy, boring look, but there is one thing that kills the business casual look. And I'm talking, of course, about sloppy placket. Sloppy placket affects tens of millions of men each year, and unfortunately most men don't even know that they're suffering from sloppy placket until it's too late. So what can you do to avoid the sloppy collar and placket? Well, first of all, you can use collar stays, which are little plastic or metal inserts that you just slide into the back of your collar point and it weighs it down to keep it lying flat against your shirt. If you don't have any collar stays, I recommend getting some, there's a link down below, but you also need to avoid the sloppy placket. And the best way that I've found to do this is with a little product called Million Dollar Collar. Million Dollar Collar is a little plastic insert that actually gets sewn into the placket of your shirt. And once it's sewn in there, it's a permanent solution. 
So you can wash your shirt, you can have it dry cleaned, you don't have to worry about it. Uh, once the million dollar collar is installed, it stays there forever. To install these things, you can take your shirt to a tailor, you could do it yourself, or you could do what I did and use Air Tailor. Air Tailor offers tailoring services via text message. So this is one of those things that when I heard about it, I was like, why hasn't this been around for years? Because as a guy who gets almost everything tailored, I'm constantly driving to the tailor, dropping stuff off, driving home, going back a week later to pick it up. And you know, it's part of my routine, but if I could do it via text, well, that's just a whole lot easier. It saves a lot of time. So Air Tailor actually has a relationship with Million Dollar Collar. They know how to install these things. So really you just have to sign up for Air Tailor, which takes about 90 seconds. Uh, they send you uh, a little welcome kit that has measuring tape and some pins and a shipping bag. And then when you need something tailored, you text them. Like I text them and said, hey, uh, can you install some million dollar collars and two of my dress shirts? They said, sure. They sent me a link to a prepaid label. I printed the label out, slapped it on the bag, threw my shirts in the bag with the million dollar collars, sent it off, dropped it in the outgoing mail. Five days later, my shirts arrived on my doorstep uh, ready to wear with the million dollar collars installed. My mind was blown <laughs> that you can get stuff tailored that easily now. So I definitely recommend signing up for Air Tailor if you're the kind of guy who either hasn't found a tailor you could trust or just doesn't have time to drive to the tailor. But either way, definitely make sure that you're not suffering from sloppy placket because it'll just kill your business casual getups. All right, let's recap. You don't have to be some billion dollar celebrity business mogul uh, to look great. You know, you don't have to have a million dollars to look like a million dollars. All you have to do is pay attention to the little details that most guys simply overlook. And luckily there are companies like KK&J and Million Dollar Collar and Airtailer that help guys like us nail those little details without spending an arm and a leg or buying a bunch of new clothes. All right, but I wanna hear from you. So what are your clothing hacks? What are your style hacks? What do you do to take your style from good to great? Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this stuff. As always, leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. If you like this video, hit that like button. And until next time, stay stylish.